Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hi, I'm Ime, and we're filming for Locker Known Channel, talking about Amplitude, too. And I'm here with Ben of Ben Union, a local band from Tacoma, Washington. I'm here in Seattle, and you are here in my studio. This is where I kind of have all my little collection of musical toys. But we've got a cool musical toy for you we really think that you'll like. Now, without it, you'd actually, as a guitarist or a bassist, have to carry around a big amp, or else you would have no sound, right? That's right. It, it's, it can be very awkward to carry around something this big, um, and thus the, uh, what you're going to be showing people today. Yeah, so pick that up for a second and uh, show our viewers. It was kind of a little funky. Uh, I actually okay. rescued that from a garbage dump. So somebody left it there, I rescued it, had it cleaned up, and it's, you know, it's a pretty good little Fender Vibro Champ. I like the name. Mm. And uh, why don't you give it a little tickle there? Give people an idea. It's so nice if you could go mobile. And uh, Star Ackerman of IK Multimedia, let me check out this for review, and I'm asking Ben to help me out here. It's the iRig, so here's a piece of hardware that you need. It's actually, uh, for a price point, very, very reasonable. Don't be fooled by some of the competition out there. It's much more expensive. What you've got is jack that goes into the iPhone or the iPad. And then it also has on the same end a little tiny port there that you can actually use to go into a set of external speakers or you can hook up a nice pair of noise canceling headphones or your gaming headphones and listen in. So if you don't want to you know, blast it out on speakers, that's fine, or you're in a quiet place, you can process, record, um, and make your music wherever you want to. So um, I'm going to give a little demonstration. All right. Take this and put it into the iPhone here. We take the quarter inch, put it into the back. Very simple. We'll take our sent our uh, speaker cable and uh, goes in here. Goes in there. Make sure the volume's up. So here's the interface of the iPhone AmpliTube app, and Ben's going to show you some cool things on it. So it's set to overdrive right now, but it's got a multiple like sounds. A and, <laughs> yes, it's more than you can count. So you can use overdrive, and it's simple to use. You just tap on um, the stomp box, what would be a stomp box if it was on the floor. That's why it's so easy. You can just use your finger. So you just tap on the stop box that activates the overdrive. If you want to keep the overdrive on and use a different effect, you can just go to your effect three. There's a delay. You can activate that. I'm going to set it down and show you what I just did. So you'll hear what I just did. Take the delay off. All right, show um, show us another effect that you really liked. Well, we have a chorus on here. Oops. Chorus, what I'm going to have to do is go to Overdrive, click that off, activate my chorus setting. It's 
a really good chorus sound. I'm going to have to get a little more volume out of our speaker. So are you generally impressed with the uh, effects? I am, you know. It's, um, it's a very real sound. It's very much like using a real chorus box or a real Line 6 delay. Um, it interprets the sound that you want incredibly on a speaker just like this, as small as this. Um, uh, when you think about how many pedals you have to haul around to actually get the sounds you want, if you're playing a show or a gig somewhere, yeah, and, and compress it into the, your iPhone, literally, very, very user friendly. The sounds are are uh, top notch, and top quality. Um, there's your chorus sound right there. And um, I know that since we're using actually Amplitube, the, the original version, there's Amplitube 2, which added on much more effects. There's Amplitube 3 that's coming out, um, which is off the charts. Um, and, and so anything that isn't on the Amplitube 1 has pretty much been fixed now with Amplitube 3. So those of you who have been following this product and are wondering, should we invest? If you were to compare the price point, uh, between the two, uh, getting a whole system and dragging that around or getting this, uh, what do you say, man? I mean, do you think this is a pretty good, uh, I reasonable option? I think option? it's very nice. I want one. <laughs> uh, you hear that, Star? Yes. Yeah, so He's going to be hitting you up for one. That's right. Not only can you change the effects, not only are there multiple sounds, you could, you could get pretty much any sound you would want off of this um, setup. But it has different amp tones, um, different amps you could use. You have one by twelves and two by twelves. It's, it's you can record it. There's a four track record uh, recording ability. Um, there's so much. It would take me forever to really learn it, but um, it's very user friendly. I've been sitting around playing with it for about fifteen minutes, and. Um, and I'm pretty impressed in 15 minutes, like how much he's actually gotten into and then realizes there's still like more in there to play with. So if you're looking for where you can get the Amplitude app, you can download it from the iTunes store and uh, you can get Amplitude, the light version, for free so you can just check it out. Or you can go ahead and bump on up to Amplitude, the original one, two or three, depending on where you're at and how many effects you want and all the additional things that they purchase on there. But each level is still available. So the iClip, which holds your iPad and holds it on a microphone stand so that you aren't sitting there trying to play with one hand and holding your iPad with the other. That would be kind of ridiculous. Same thing then for little objects like your iPhone. So uh, from myself, Ine, and Ben, I want you to talk a little bit about your band some upcoming hopes that you have for yourself? Yeah. Well, basically this next year we're going to be releasing a brand new studio album. We've just uh, completed a live DVD and live recording that will be released in the spring sometime. The studio album should be done by the summer. Uh, we're booking tours to the Midwest and the West Coast right now. Um, if you go to venueunion.com, figure out everything we're doing, see when we're playing our next show. You can um, have a video on yeah, YouTube. We have a music video. Uh, we have a couple music videos on YouTube, but there's one in particular for Kiss the Girl, our first single. Um, you can go to benunion.com and see Kiss the Girl. Um, and you can see all things Ben Union, benunion.com. Awesome. Well, to all the folks who are watching this, especially the Locker Dome community, thanks so much for watching from Ben and from myself. We'll see you later.